oh, it's pretty early, it's uh, 6.30 in the morning. I'm just on my way out to do a little bit of ferreting. Tell you what, you know it's summer, yesterday was 46 degrees Celsius here. And today's going to be uh, somewhere in the 30s, so I'm not going to be out here too long. I just sort of got up, the dogs are getting a bit anxious. It's been sort of 40s and late 30s all week, so I haven't had an opportunity to get out all that much. There's a fox, there's a fox. Go get the fox. Go get him. No, they went after the rabbit. There was a big fox just over there. I didn't see the fox. Pretty close too, they just didn't see him. I went and took off after the rabbits instead. I thought they'd seen him when I let him out, I thought they'd seen the fox. That little bitch, she's mad on him, she, uh, she doesn't catch him. Zip loves foxes. She doesn't uh, kill him, but she catches him. And then Cass just crunches him. on that burrow over there mate. Bloody lot of them. on all of this side guys and I've got permission in this paddock here as well and most of the neighbours here I've got permission on that one back there I don't there's quite a few rabbits sitting on one of them burrows so but I do have permission in there this guy doesn't like people on his place bunch of kangaroos running out here on mixed place.
sitting on that burrow there, which I did last time. Gosh, you seen what I did? I put the long net all the way around and left this section open here. If they get out here, the dogs will get a good run at them. So um, there is a little burrow over there. I'm not going to net it. I'm just going to throw the uh, throw the ferrets in there and let the dogs run on them. See so how we go. All right, this is a little uh, pip. I've just got her back. She's just come off heat. Just got her back off uh, Phil. Let's see how she goes in here. or mixed place. Mine, mine.
No. All right, guys, just going to give the dogs a run. Not an easy place to run the dogs here because of the fence. Um, but I'm going to give it a go, see what happens. These two ferrets are rearing to go. Go down there. Hoo 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 hoo! Hoo hoo! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him. Hoo! <sighs> hoo! Get him, cats!
Hoo 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 Good boy, Fleet. Good boy. What's in? Covered in blood. In a bloody feast, all right, look at you. All right, guys, that'll be it. So I think. in a boat.
Good boy, good girl. Oh, mine, mine, pass mine. Good boy, Flea. Heap of rabbits sitting out in that paddock there, guys, on that burrow over there. I'm going to go run the long nets around and put the rabbits through. Look at them. There must be there must be 50 rabbits sitting over there in that paddock. Oh, if you can see them out there, all across there, there's bloody tons of them. Jeez, oh, look at them. Whole bunch in this burrow here too. Here, go, fetch him up. Yeah, I'm gonna go run the. Jeez, there's a lot in these burrows, mate. This is a burrow that I did the other day because there's so many rabbits in this paddock. They just fill up again. It's only been like two days since I did that back burrow. And already again it's full. But anyway, there's a, there's a fair few in this, this burrow here and a lot in that one over there, so I'll get to it. Okay guys. Just about uh, this is that new property that I was telling you about. This is just a, another part of it. I did a burrow at the back over there, which is full again already. When I drove up there was probably about Estimating uh, between 50 and 100 rabbits just sitting here and I did that burrow over there two days ago and uh, I pulled quite a few out of it came back today there was another 30 sitting on it so a whole bunch on this burrow here a couple on this big burrow here but a big pack of rabbits around here so I've just run long nets around and uh, I'm just about to drop the ferrets in Bought the three dogs out today. I, I will just say, guys, what I do, and I say this a lot. I mean, I was talking on the forum early this morning, and they're talking about their ferrets never missing rabbits and all this sort of crap. Um, I, I think that people never done ferreting before. But anyway, what I normally do, burrow like this, dogs running over the top. I put the ferrets in. I let them bolt the easy ones. Once they start running in circles and holding up, I pick the ferrets up and move to the next burrow. Smart thing to do. You can keep putting your ferrets down here, they'll find them, start killing them. You'll be waiting for them to, to, to kill them. And the rabbits that are in there, that are running round and round and round circles, tie your ferrets out. By the time you get to the next burrow, you, you, your ferrets are tied out. So take some advice from somebody who knows. Bolt the easy ones. Once they start running in circles, if you've got plenty of burrows or plenty of rabbits in the area, move on to the next one. If you haven't, then I understand. You know, if you're in a place where there's not many rabbits about, and you uh, you don't have that option sure by all means mate keep running your ferrets through you, you will get them out once they I mean eventually what happens when a rabbit runs in circles he gets sick of it and he'll either put his head into a corner and, and crunch up and let the ferret bite on his ass 
or he'll bolt. That's normally the two scenarios. But anyway, guys, just about to drop these ferrets in. That's just a little bit of advice for the people out there. But geez, I read some crap online, mate, I'll tell you. You got Johnny come lately's and Harry has beans. You want to give advice to people and they haven't got a bloody clue what's going on, mate. I mean, they've, they've probably got a clue. They've probably had a few ferrets over the years. But they're certainly not at it three or four days a week. Boy, good deal. All right, mine. That's Good boy, Fleet. Move, Fleet. Fleet, move. Fleet. Good boy. Good girl. All right, Fleet. Good boy. Good boy, Fleet.
other burrow over there. Just stuck his head out. Just sitting there. Half crown. Hi, oh, Cass. Good girl. Mine. Cass. 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 The boy fleet. Alright guys, um, the battery ran out while I was filming here. I didn't uh, put a fully charged battery and it ran out. Anyway, I took we got nine out of here. Took the uh, rabbits back to the to the car. Ferrets were in there. I don't know. Probably ran this bay for about three quarters of an hour at least. Um, what I'm going to do now is just give the uh, dogs a little bit of exercise. Just going to throw the ferrets in here and let the dogs have a run. In this burrow here. There's one out here too. Wasn't too sure about, I wanted to have a look. There's a little one out here, I might quickly throw a frail ferret brute and see how the dogs go. Zip, plate! Just to give the dogs a little bit of a run. I mean, you can. You can net this up pretty easy, it's only three or four holes. But I like to watch the dogs run every now and again. Grace was the last one to come out of that last hole. She was on one in there for about 20 minutes. Killed it. Who, 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 get him, please, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. It's 
starting to warm up now. Head of hawks up here, looking down at the uh, rabbit guts that I got out. Ta 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 